I'm Marcus Campbell, and welcome to my home. In this DVD, The Simple Sites for Big Profit, I'm going to teach you exactly how I've worked from home for the past seven years building simple websites based on what users want. Now these sites, although simple, are very, very effective and can be very profitable. So pay close attention because it's my goal in the next hour to teach you exactly how you could start making simple sites for yourself to profit big time. Now, I want you to play, uh, pay close attention to what you're about to see because I'm going to cram over seven years of experience into a one-hour DVD. Of course, I'm going to try my best to weed out all the garbage and all the things you don't need and get to what really works. Nice plan. So, come on, let's get started. Come on, let's go. Okay, so here we go. Into the Simple Sites Studio. PCMoneyMaking.com studio, where I'm going to show you exactly how I build these simple sites. But before we get started, I'd like to give you a little bit of how I started using the simple sites method and how it came to be and where it came from. So first off, a little background on me. I've been working from home online for about seven years now. I started um, seven years ago. I was flat broke and had no idea what I was doing. Uh, but I found out one of the sites that I built for a client of mine ended up ranking in the top 10 search results for the word free cigars. And so I started a search engine optimization company based on the fact that I could get people ranked at the top of the search engines. Now around 2000, 2001, the market became very, very competitive. And the people who were paying for clicks on the word search engine optimization were paying anywhere from you know, nine to twenty dollars per click, which I simply didn't want to pay and at the time couldn't afford. So what I did is I decided to break up my site and make it very targeted based on what people were looking for. So I have the same service where I can get people ranked, but I split it up. So I found that people were looking up dental website marketing and I made a special site that said, hey dentists, here's how you can get a top search engine ranking and um, I made one for network marketers and said, hey, network marketers, here's how you could generate more leads and sales using search engine optimization. I built one for limousine uh, company owners, and we had tons of limousine companies order from a page because they thought that I was an expert in optimizing limousine websites. So as a result, I got clicks way cheaper, sometimes even free, using the search engine optimization techniques because there was so little competition in these areas. And I was getting a better conversion rate because the people came to the site and found exactly what they were looking for for their company. And as a result, I lived off that for about three or four years, made a very comfortable living uh, with no prior experience or anything like that, just a lot of go get em -ness if you want to call it that. And because I used the Simple Sites method, this worked very well. It later evolved into uh, a gas scooter website that I ran where we had gas scooters drop shipped. And we made sites and pages for this scooter site based on the Simple Sites principle, based on what the users were typing in. So if they were typing in uh, gas powered scooters cheap, which was very common then, and I'm sure it's still looked up now, we would take them to a site that said, hey, get your gas-powered scooters cheap. And as a result, they thought it was exactly what they wanted, and the phone lit up and rang off the hook, and we got tons of orders. So I'd like to now get into why the simple sites work and how you can make them work for you using the same exact principle to sell products, services, uh, market affiliate websites and things of this nature. Now I've done all of those with simple sites using free search engine traffic, using pay-per-click traffic, uh, using press releases, a whole bunch of things, uh, affiliates, a whole bunch of things to market my simple sites and it's been very very good to me and I'm hoping that it'll do the same for you. So let's get started. Okay, 
First off, I'd like to get you started with what kind of mindset it takes to build a simple site. Now, a lot of people think that a simple site is simply just something slapped together, uh, you know, a bunch of junk, a bunch of banners, uh, but it's not. There's a lot more thought put into them, and later on we're going to show you some examples of simple sites. But see, the reason the simple sites work, like I said before, is because you're targeting what the user wants. So, based on whatever search term they're using, you need to focus your page to that and to getting them to what they want fast. For example, I uh, recently ran a site under the word mortgage calculator. Found out this word was really cheap, it was about 20 to 30 cents per click uh, for the traffic that I got, and I was able to market. Uh, refinance quotes, expensive AdSense clicks, and things of this nature. And what I did is I took them in from Mortgage Calculator, and a lot of other affiliate marketers out there will take someone from a word like Mortgage Calculator, and they'll just bring them to a site and say, fill out a mortgage quote. While that can work, and you can make money, it doesn't provide a good user experience because the user is not getting what they came for. They're not getting a mortgage calculator. So what I did is I went and purchased the resale rights and the reprint rights to a mortgage calculator that was in JavaScript. And you don't need to be a programming genius to be able to figure out how to cut and paste a code. Actually, they even gave me the instructions and some sample pages so I could just build mine right over top of theirs. But I used these mortgage calculators. There was about, I think, 15 or 20 of them. And I put them on the site so that the people looking for mortgage calculators would come and see instantly what they wanted. Now this did two things. One, it provided a good user experience and two, as they messed around with the calculators, each person visited an average of 12 different pages on my website. So for every click that I was bringing into my page, I was now multiplying them, the eyeballs on my ads, by 12. So this added up really quick into a lot of profit because I have so many people looking at so many different parts of the site and each time they do they get the AdSense and they're getting a view of my affiliate programs and the refinance quotes they could fill out where sometimes I've been paid as much as you know 40 to 65 dollars per quote and that doesn't even ask for their social security or number or anything it's just a you know name address how much do you think your house is worth something like that now as a side note make sure that the companies you work with are uh, of good reputation so that you're not getting in a position where your users are being funneled to junk or spyware or something like that make sure they're going to a good legitimate um, mortgage quote or whatever it is that you're offering and in the bonus CD-ROM you have various companies you can use that we've tested uh, for years and years and you can get started with them right away and start building your simple sites with those companies that will pay you for you know they'll pay you per download per click per sale per lead uh, many different ways to get but again the mindset you need to focus on what the user wants you have to care more about the user than yourself because that's how you're gonna make money you need to care about what it looks like to them how it works for them and this is really where the internet's headed is a good user experience you know a lot of people would just slap up junk and you know it might work because you know the clicks are cheap and things like that but you really want to give the user what they want if they're looking for mortgage calculators give them mortgage calculators if they're looking for pet grooming tips give them pet grooming trip tips now you can use these to market your stuff as well um, and you can market many different things to them but just make sure that it's good and honest and then you're going to win. Let me give you another example of how this can work, um, and that is a rebate site I built for cars. People were looking for rebates for Ford cars, Dodges, you know, all these different car makes. They were looking for rebates on them. And what I did is I made a page based on what rebates were out, and I led them through a process where they could read a sales letter about how I saved money on my car and how they can do the same thing. So as a mindset, Think in terms of the customer. Think of what they would want. Think of how you can please them the most and you're going to do very well. And really pay attention to what they search for because the searches will tell you 
exactly what they want. And if they're kind of, if it's kind of a shady market where you can't figure out what they want, you can even ask them. Like on my main site, PCMoneyMaking.com, I had a question form where I was offering ten dollars for everyone who asked me a valid question about internet marketing, and they got the ten dollars if I decided to use that in one of my DVD products. And as a result, I paid, you know couple hundred dollars but I got invaluable information that told me what the people who were going to my site were looking for now you can do the same thing without giving away ten dollars you can have you know four or five different links and track the traffic to them but again the mindset make sure that it's all about the customer a little note that I'd like to add on the subject of internet money-making mindset is that I see a lot of people out there who really want to just do anything they can and make a million bucks tomorrow. That's probably not going to happen. So what I would say to you is get the mindset of how can I find little markets, niche markets with you know maybe five to eight hundred searches a day and use those to make money and then duplicate it and keep duplicating and keep building. Uh, for example, recently I was looking to uh, get people into my sales funnel for this DVD. And I found out that 35 people a day were looking up the word press release uh, or press release optimization. Coming from a background of search engine optimization and having written a few press releases that have gotten over 160,000 visitors each for 200 bucks, a uh, pretty good deal. But having done that, I wrote an article about press release optimization and gave them some free advice. At the end of that article, I put an opt-in form for a free video about um, press release optimization, and they watch that video and get funneled into this video. But also, I'm funneling them into ClickBank products that pay me anywhere from $50 to $70 for press release software, and the big, huge package by a marketer who has press release traffic series, and that one pays like 400 bucks. So off of this little tiny market, you can make a couple hundred bucks a day if done right. Now, I'm not saying that you know you slap it up and tomorrow you're going to make a couple hundred bucks, but what I am saying is this is a business just like any other business, and you have to work at it, and you have to do things slow and deliberate and really focus on what the user wants and how you can bring them into something that is going to make you money. For example, the mortgage calculator site, that's something people are paying a lot of money for. I mean, mortgages are probably the most expensive thing people ever buy. And um, so you want to get those people in and you can sell them something big if it promises that they're going to save money. Uh, same with cars. If, if you have something that, that's going to save them a couple thousand dollars, there's no problem charging you know, anywhere from 40 bucks to 200 bucks and up, depending on what it is. Uh, same thing with press releases. If you have the press release um, software, you know the people will pay a lot because they're already going to pay two, three hundred bucks just to submit the thing, and they will pay more to learn how to submit it right and not waste their money. So, with that in mind, build slow sites deliberately and focus on what the people want, and don't make your goal to make a million bucks tomorrow. Make it, hey, how can I spend today? my eight hours of work today to generate five or ten dollars every day because if you could take today and sit down and say how can I generate ten dollars a day at the end of the year that's thirty six hundred dollars in your pocket from eight hours of work and I'm not saying you're going to do that what, what I am saying is test it and try it and try new methods and start slow and set your daily uh, click limits low you know, just try stuff out, test it out, do it deliberate, and, you know, track, track the results. Become a tracking junkie like me. I love to see, you know, the different results. But start slow and deliberate. I'd like to start off by saying that the keywords are the most important thing when finding a market. You can tell a lot about people by the keywords they type in. And when you go to the keyword research programs, don't use them like most people by typing in your subject first. Try to go a different model and find out what people want. Like you could type in learn, you could type in 
uh, find. You can type in buy, and this will teach you what people want to learn, find, and buy. You can even use words like care, like we found out earlier in the goldfish care and the uh, different things related to what people care about and what they want to learn to take care of. Um, and this is really vital to your success online because this tells you the most about the people and your target audience. And it tells you how to design the site, how to make it to where it's going to fit their needs exactly. How, to gonna, how is it going to make it to where you could tell what kind of language to use and what to talk about on your site and how to make it. I mean, like for example, I know that someone typing in money making online or business opportunity online is different from someone who types in press release optimization because the people who want making money and business opportunity are the same kind of people who read the business opportunity magazines. They have the same kind of mindset. They're looking for a way to make money from home. The press release people are looking to optimize a press release and they're looking to find a way to do that already having a business in mind, already having a site in mind. So it's a whole different ball game and it's a whole different marketing method that I would use on these various people. Okay, so just so you can get an idea of what we're doing here and how I go from beginning to end on a site, we're going to go ahead and work with the word care. So we're going to go over to ClickBank and we're going to type in care and we're going to see what people want that's related to care. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, if we go over to care, this is going to tell us which books sell the best for the word care. And we have starting a child daycare, that's not really under the term care as in someone's caring about something or wants to know how to care for something. Uh, number two is the betta fish care guide and this is about how to make your betta fish happy and live long and prosper and whatever. So we know that that is the second most popular book in this network for the word care and that's out of you know I, we got tons of pages here of books um, that you could look at that have to do with care. Uh, there's rat care and all this stuff. But I'm going to show you first how I develop a market, how I tackle that market, and how I evolve from starting with the market to having a full-blown site that makes money and growing and duplicating and things of this nature. So we're going to go ahead and go with the beta fish care guide and we're going to look up on my keyword research program, we're going to find out under the word beta, we're just going to go beta, we're going to do with one T and two T's because I'm sure people spell it wrong and you want to definitely look out for misspells because there's a ton of those out there and in early 2003 I made a fortune with misspells on pharmaceutical drugs, you know, because no one knows how to spell those names and uh, actually one of them was a site I made about prescription drugs and I spelled it P-E-R prescription on accident and the site ended up getting thousands of visitors a day and that was back when the companies were paying you know anywhere from a dollar to twenty dollars a click for those terms uh, back before it was regulated and all that stuff um, but at any rate that site did well because I just took them from that uh, search term that was misspelled and took them to my simple site which took them to what they wanted. Uh, one of the funny ones was uh, people type, were typing in Viagra instead of Viagra which was pretty stupid. Um, but at any rate we're, we're going to look at beta with two T's and one T. So let's go over to the keyword program here and we'll have this up on the screen for you in just a minute. Okay, let's take a look. We have... We'll start it off with one T. And then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to use this to analyze the competition in this particular program, um, which, which you can find on keywordsniffer.com as one of our 
uh, programs, keywordsniffer.com, we'll put it at the bottom of the screen so you can see it. Um, it actually shows you the price per click on um, Overture, which is the res same results that show up on Yahoo, and it'll show you those costs, which you can use as a guide for any market, because if they pay that much on Overture, it's probably pretty similar on the other markets, and you can use that as kind of a, a, a really rough-edged ruler, if you will. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add these words into the cart, the ones that are related, you know, some people might use beta for something else, I don't know what else that would go for, but we're going to add the ones with one T here, uh, beta could also be beta testing um, for things like that, so let's see here. Okay, so for beta fish with one T, I'm showing 802 searches a day, and that is the misspelling for that. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Beta fish care with one T, 103 searches a day. Uh, we have, let's see. Okay. That looks like about it for the uh, single with the single T. So let's go and try with double T. So now we have beta fish and beta fish care under the misspelling which is going to provide us almost a thousand searches a day on the search engines. Uh, so that alone is a, is a great market. Okay we're going to go beta with two T's. Let's see what comes up. We have beta fish 807 a day. Beta just B E T T A, 406 a day. Beta fish care, we got 151 a day. Betas, plural, 140. Male beta fish, beta care. Beta fin rot, 67 searches a day. Breeding betas, beta won't eat. That is a fantastic word. Whenever you find something where they're very, you know, like, um, stinky toe hurts that's something that you know they have a problem and they're looking for help on that uh, so beta won't eat if you could show them hey click here for the guide to teach you how to get your beta to eat that is an ace in the hole and you're going to get a lot more sales off of that. Breeding beta fish, beta fish care FAQ for frequently asked questions, male beta, beta fish diseases excellent, beta fish bowl we could use that one. Beta diseases, excellent. Uh, beta fighting fish, that's pretty generic. Uh, let's see here. Beta fish breeding, sick beta fish, excellent. You know they're looking it up because they have a uh, sick fish. Female beta fish, female beta, uh, sick beta, excellent. Beta fish pictures, that's eh, okay. Um, but make sure, when you go for words like beta fish pictures, make sure that the title of your ad clearly states what they're going to find on your page. Um, for example, if I was to bid on the word beta, I don't want everyone that's, I don't want people looking to buy beta fish, I don't want people looking to look at pictures to print out for a beta fish report at school. What I want is people who want to learn how to care for the beta fish. So in my ad, which I'll have up on the screen for you, it will say beta fish care guide or beta fish care or help your beta, something like that that lets them know, hey, this is about taking care of your fish. Okay, so I think we have enough words here. Let me see. Okay, sick slash dying beta fish. That's excellent. Uh, beta breeding, beta fishes for sale, beta fish tank. Okay, so I think we have enough here. We have a total of 28 words. And we're going to go ahead and do a competition search and see what the click prices are on Overture uh, slash Yahoo. Yahoo Overture, as people call it. And through, let's see here, just enter in the code. And in a minute, it's going to generate our report, which is going to show us the competition. And keep in mind, there's a lot of clicks here to deal with. And when you have something on Overture that has a zeroed out or even a 10 cent click or lower, you know that a lot of times you can get those on Google for about 5 cents 
uh, or 10 cents or around that, depending on if your site meets the criteria. You have to have a site that it talks about the words you're bidding on and gives the advice because they want a good user experience. They don't want better fish people going to a pet store. They want better fish people going to a better fish site. And if you have a pet store, make a better fish page for it. And then you can bid under that and provide a good user experience. So let's take a look here. I'm showing that for beta won't eat, I got 37 clicks a day, no one's bidding on that term. Beta fin rot, 52 a day, no one's bidding on it. Beta fish care FAQ, no one's bidding on it. Bored beta fish, no bids. Sick beta fish, no bids. Beta fish pictures, no bids. So we have a lot of words here that have no bids on them. And I'm showing even beta fish care, which is the best word where you're going to get the most sales, most likely, has 117 searches a day. And I'm only showing five sites competing for that term. Uh, we also have beta fish care with one T. 80 searches a day, one person bidding on that term. So this market is perfect and ripe and ready for the site. So now we have the market, we have the words, now I'm going to show you how I go from I got words to buying a domain name to setting it up to getting offers and actually making money with this market. A little bit later, we will jump ahead and show you how much this site actually makes and how well it does. And we'll even show you some of the days where the site might have lost money or gained money. We're going to show you everything. I want you to be in the driver's seat. I want, to, I want you to see what it's like to tackle markets and make money in markets and test and try and, and let your site evolve based on what the people are looking at. So let's go ahead and get into how to build a site now that we know what people are searching for. Okay, so now we're going to dive into how to evaluate if a market's going to work good for you or not and if you can actually make profit in that market. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the click prices again and see what we have. So I'm showing for, let's see here, uh, why my beta fish won't eat, no, no bids. So we can get them for roughly five cents for those. Uh, let's see what else we have. Beta fish, uh, we could get that for five cents. Beta fish as pets, we could get that for five cents. Uh, let's see, we also have um, Beta Won't Eat. Okay, Diagnosing a Sick Beta Fish, Beta Fish Behavior. We have all these words that are about five cents. So here's our market. We have our market which is Beta Fish. Right? And in this market, the way we're going to tell if this market's going to be good is we're going to look at the average five cent click cost. That's our target goal right there is the five cent click cost. And what we want to do is we want to take that five cents and times it by 100 visitors. And that's going to equal five dollars. All right. So five dollars is our target cost per 100 visitors. Okay, now, now we know what to base this off of, is 100 visitors is going to cost us $5. So that means that out of every 100 people that come to the site, we need to make $5 to break even, or 5 cents per person. So our goal then is to exceed that, double it, triple it, whatever we can do to get that better. And then once we find that number, the goal then is just to get more traffic. So, once we have the market, now our goal is just to fit the market to what we have to offer.
And now we're going to go more into site design, site layout, and how we would make these sites to where they fit and they make us an average of five cents or more per click so that we could afford the clicks and make money off of them. Now, one of the offers that we have is the book found on ClickBank. So we'll put ClickBank book about fish, the beta fish book. Now, this one pays me $17.98 per sale. So that means that if I get a sale every 100 clicks, I am now profiting $12.98. Right? And then, of course, if you got 500 clicks in a day, you know, it's going to do better that way. Now, a 1% conversion ratio uh, is pretty common, but sometimes it won't happen. So you want to test the market and you want to test it slow and find out where the holes are, what words work, what words don't work, and you want to track it and test it and find out what's going to work for you. Another way is to look at the impressions versus the clicks that you get. Um, and if you're getting a whole lot of clicks but not a lot of sales, you might want to rephrase your ad to where it says something like, you know, buy the beta fish book or something like that. Right now I have it as a beta fish care guide. That's my title. So they come here and once they come to the site, we'll show you up on the screen, uh, the way that I'm going to design the site so that it gets the maximum conversion rate is going to be by giving them what they want first and putting offers and AdSense and things like that secondary. So uh, let's put the site up and we'll take a look here. Number one, when they get to the site, we see worried about your little blue friend. Click here for the beta care guide. So right off the bat, right from the market they came from, the ad that they clicked that told me that they were interested in coming to my site was beta fish care guide. So they're here. First thing they see is go to the beta fish care guide. See, your goal is to get as many people from your page to the beta fish care guide as possible so that you could get as many sales and as many clicks to that as possible. Now here's a tip. When you have this link here, you want to open it with a blank tag. And what that's going to do is that's going to open it in a new window. So it's actually going to open a new internet browser on their screen with the book with your affiliate code. That way if they say, hey, I don't want to buy a book, this is a bunch of junk, they click the X, they're back on your site, they could still make you money somehow. So again, now I have a picture of a beta to get their attention further. I have a uh, picture of a couple of betas in a bowl or a, uh, a glass and then I highlight what the book's going to teach them if they buy it. Uh, I put a little quote about the fish which is actually a true quote. Uh, my wife had a goldfish that was uh, 14 years old and I thought that was pretty cool because mine had only lasted a weekend. Um, then we have our special offer for beta lovers. Now this special offer usually pays for the click costs every day because what it does is it's giving them a freebie for participating. They participate in offers and market tests and they get a gift card uh, for whatever it is. And see now this company pays me on a submission of a zip code. And once they hit submit, it pops up the window with their zip code already on the next page where I'm going to get paid and what that does is he's going to pay me each time someone puts their zip code in there because he knows that you know out of 100 people who do the zip code he makes a certain amount so he's got that down to a science and he's willing to pay people like me and you for a simple zip code submission we have another link down here which is based on a search term I found uh, that people were typing in and that says having trouble with beta fin rot click here for help they click there, it opens up the book in a new window, gives them another chance to look at it and buy. Again, I have beta fish pictures, which will take them to Google Images, where they can look at pictures of beta fish, and that opens in a new window, so they don't leave. Beta fish illnesses explained, that takes them to a healthy beta site, and it shows them some of the things they can do to diagnose their fish's problems. Again, opens in a new window. They never leave my site. And at the bottom, we now have our AdSense ads, which are people who pay you each time someone clicks on their ad, just like you're paying uh, Google or Yahoo to get clicks to your site. They're paying to get clicks to their site, and you get a portion of that. So off of all these things, we now have 
we have the book. That's our first way to get paid. We have our, uh, let's see here, we have our offer, the zip code offer. That's our second way we can get paid. And then the third way we can get paid is off of the AdSense ads, which will pay you per click. So when you design sites, keep in mind that you want to make it simple and you want to give the user what they want right away in addition to giving them offers. And sometimes with specialty sites, let's say you were a, a big beta fish lover. I don't know much about beta fish, it's just a market I chose. Um, but let's say you did a little research and you found 10 things that beta fish have. And you could say, you know, enter your name and email to get the top 10 beta problems um, and what you can do to help your fish. That way you'll start building a database of people who are interested in beta fish and you can market to them over and over and over again. You can even become an affiliate for a pet store and, and get them to buy products that way or you know whatever it is. But the chances are you can start something really good by doing the simple sites method, making your site simple, making it what they want up front, putting your images or putting your links in a blank tag so they never leave your basic page and doing it that way. Okay, as we close up this chapter, I'd like to go over some website quick tips. And these are design tips to get you the most profit and to get people to actually like the design and the layout of your page. Number one, as you've heard all throughout this, is make it easy. Make it easier for them to read. Make it easy to look at. Make a nice background that's easy to look at and things like that. Number two, make it clean. Don't clutter it with a bunch of junk. Don't put a bunch of text that's too hard to read and too hard on the eyes. Number three, no more than three offers. You see pages all out there with tons and tons of banners and a bunch of junk and you probably leave them as quickly as I do because it just looks horrible and it kind of dampens your respect for the page because it's kind of like they're just throwing stuff out there to make money off you and that's what it's really screaming is, is make money off me and you don't want a whole lot of offers that compete with each other because if the guys get confused they're gonna leave and that brings us to number four is don't confuse them don't give them too many choices so they make none and just leave uh, number five, point out the benefits fast. Show them what's in it for them because everyone cares most about what are they going to get being there, what's this going to provide for them, whether it be entertainment, whether it be something of value, whether it be saving money, whether it be free tips, whatever it is, point out the benefits fast and put them in a way that's going to say, hey, look, keep reading because you're going to get this. Uh, fill out this form because you're going to get this. And last, number six, give them the info that they're looking for. If they're looking for mortgage calculators, give them a mortgage calculator. If they're looking for pet grooming tips, give them pet grooming tips. If they're looking to learn to tie a tie, link them to a YouTube video with how to tie a tie or link them to a site about it. You can advertise ties as well as link them, but, you know, do that first. Okay, now we're going to go over ad writing tips and pay-per-click secrets. Now, keep in mind that over the years, I've had millions and millions and millions of visitors from pay-per-click search engine advertising. So pay close attention to these tips, and they're going to help you do really well. Ad writing tip number one, keep it honest. Don't say something's free if it's not free. Don't uh, lie, don't do anything shady, you know, really tell them what's on the site. And if it's going to cost them money, you can tell them that as a way to pre-qualify them. Number two, use the keywords in your ad, like the beta fish site, beta fish care guide, that uses the keywords and it tells them what they're going to get. They're going to get a beta fish care guide and as a result of being that targeted, we got a killer percentage rate of 25% um, and in some areas 17% and 10% um, but that's very good. Number three, if you want to be sure that you're not going to spend a whole lot of money on people who don't want to buy, like for example if you went uh, tie a tie uh, a guide about how to tie your tie fast and it's nine dollars but you don't want people who just want a free guide then you can put 
tie tying secrets. That's kind of a tongue twister. Tie secrets, tie tying secrets. 9.95 free video or, or, or uh, 9.95 for a video. 9.95 for an ebook. You know, pre-qualify them. Tell them up front. Hey, it's going to cost you something. Number four. Look at the conversion rate that you're getting and test different ads and different words. You could use call words like buy or act now or uh, visit or click or something like that as long as it's in the search engine's guidelines and they're happy with it. But as you're doing it, test different things and look at which words are giving you the most impressions and gear your ad to that word as long as it's targeted. Like I found out that the word beta fish is giving me the most impressions, thousands and thousands of impressions a day for that term. And if I use the word beta fish in there, I'm going to win and I'm going to get a good click through rate. So look at the conversion and test different versions. Another tip is domain name keywords. A lot of people don't want to go out there and buy a new domain name because they don't want to spend eight bucks, which, I mean, this is a business. You're going to spend money uh, to do this. But if you use keywords in your domain name, that gives you an advantage as well because then people see that and it seems to boost the click-through rate. Uh, let's see here. We got number six. Keep it to five to ten words per ad group unless the words are very similar. Don't just plug in 5,000 words uh, because they look like they're relevant. Really take the time and go through and find out if they're relevant. Okay, number seven, set daily caps. This is very important because, I mean, there's some ads where you could run that could cost $10,000 a day to get clicks um, and they'll eat it up really quick. So set an uh, Set a daily cap with what you're uh, comfortable with. If it's 20 bucks a day, good. If it's five bucks a day, good. If it's 100 bucks a day or a thousand, whatever it is, set it for your comfort level on what you are comfortable with losing. Because you might not get any sales, you know. But hopefully, you follow these rules and you will put the odds in your favor. Because this is uh, marketing, not guessing. You know, you want to be an effective marketer, not hey, I think people typing in make money want to give me money via PayPal so I can buy a yacht. No. You know, you want to be very specific and you want to use very specific keywords and things of that nature. Now let's get into organic or free search engine ranking tips. The number one thing right now to get you ranked fast in the free search engines is going to be links from big sites. For example, if you have a link from times.com or time.com, that's going to tell the search engines that you are a reputable company and they're going to rank you really fast. Uh, so that's a very important thing. If you have Yahoo directory links and things of that nature, it's going to do very well for you. Second most important thing is to provide relevant content based on keywords and the way people search. You want to look for keywords that are very little competition. For example, if we go over to the beta fish market, let's take a look and we are going to run a report based on the amount of competition in Google uh, under the organic side, which is also known as quote unquote free search engine rankings, which really aren't free because time is money and they do take you time and it might cost you a little money to get the directory listings as well. So let's do competition for um, Google. Now keep in mind also, Yahoo and MSN provide a lot of traffic. A lot. And it's very good traffic and relevant traffic. And Yahoo and MSN are a lot easier to rank on the organic side than Google and some other ones. So you can focus all on that. If you're looking for a quick method to get traffic, you can focus on that um, and tailor your site for that. We have some other tips for you in your bonus kit. Now let's take a look. For beta fish, I have, let's see here, beta fish care has 482,000 people competing 
on the free search engine rankings. Now this could be good if you're willing to put forth the time because anything under a million competition, it doesn't mean that there's 482,000 sites out there trying to sell stuff about betta fish. This could be just that these words appear on the sites or pages that many times, you know, for, for that many pages. Uh, so that's something you can go for. Now, if you want to go for a quick method, I'm showing that fin rot in betta fish is looked up 11 times per day. And that's very targeted because these people have a specific problem and they're looking for a solution to it. And that is has 26,000 people competing. Now usually if there's 26,000 people, you could pretty much write a small article about betta fish fin rot, use the keywords throughout the article, get a link from a site or a Yahoo directory listing, bam, you're going to be up on that really quick. Or you could even do a paid uh, inclusion where you're paying to get your site included fast. And basically what they're doing is they're putting you on a less expensive um, site with less power. but in a market where there's only 26,000 people competing, uh, you know, you could get by with that route. Usually if it's up, you know, 500,000 to a million, I'm going to go with a Yahoo directory as opposed to a cheaper directory. And in your bonus kit, we have all those in there. So number three tip is to get directory listings. And keep in mind when you get a directory listing, use your most important keyword in the link text. That means that if you have a directory listing and you're going for betta fish fin rot, it should say betta fish fin rot. <coughs> <coughs> Click here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Another one is betta fish care FAQ. 31 searches a day. So we got almost 50 searches a day in these little words. We also have sick dying betta fish. 14 a day. Only uh, 11,500 11, competing for that. And we have all these subcategory words. Uh, we have betta fish bowl. We have betta fighting fish. Betta fish diseases at 200,000. Sick betta fish. So this market, you could build a small 5 to 10 page site, page site based on these words where each page is titled in your title tag, and the title tags are all on the templates that you received in your bonus kit, um, you know, and you can change the title tag to say sick betta fish. And then you write an article, hey, if you got a sick betta fish, blah, 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 here's what you could do about it. And um, let's see here, bored betta fish, you know, if your betta fish is bored, get them a TV or whatever it is, you write an article about it, and now you're getting that traffic. And just like the PC money-making site, all these words are pointing to selling the book. And off of this, you could get, you know, maybe 100 clicks a day, maybe 200 clicks a day, or more for free, free, because it does take time, um, based on your little site, simple site, that's leading them to these things. Beta fish care instructions, 53,000 competing. So this is a good market ready to be tackled. Another thing you can do if you're looking to get included really quick is you could do a press release. You can do a press release based on the various beta fish things. Maybe, hey, here's a new beta fish technique. Or here's how to care for your beta fish better or something like that. But again, when you write a press release, it's just like writing a web page for organic free search engine listings. You want to provide good content, you want to use the keywords, you want to link to your site. And I've had sites get picked up in as little as 12 hours using a press release, and within 12 hours I've had, you know, 20, 30,000 people on that site. Betafish probably isn't going to bring that much traffic, but there are some other things you can use, you know, and keep in mind also that the more traffic you get, it's probably less quality traffic. So if you just get, you know, 50 a day for Betafish Care and Finrot Betafish, you're probably going to do a lot better than if I'm just getting everyone out there searching Betafish, you know. So keep that in mind. Uh, last, number five, is lots of pages with good content. You want to provide good content, good user experience, easy to navigate, link to your other pages, and when you link to your other pages, use the keywords in there, use the keywords on everything. Um, you know, and I'm not saying go out there and put beta fish, beta fish, fin rot, beta fish, beta fish, fin rot, beta fish, sick beta fish. No, make a good 
human design site made for humans that people want to look at not just made to get traffic because then people are you might get traffic but they'll probably leave and you'll get a bad conversion ratio and things like that so it always pays to take your time and do it right think of what you would like and that's what the search engines are always going to show because if the search engines show junk that makes them look bad and they're going to take your site off and make the algorithm to provide better sites so those are some tips on how to get free search engine rankings and keep in mind that um, there's a little bit more on this in your bonus uh, kit and this is the method that I've used to get over 50 million search engine visitors uh, for very little money uh, using these uh, organic listings um, so you could do the same thing and again I would advise you to do it slow and deliberately based on markets just like you know the beta fish market is perfect for this video because it's so targeted and the traffic converts and there's so little competition that you can do this and keep in mind I mean diagnosing a sick beta fish 15,000 you could just make a page with a picture of a beta fish and say diagnosing beta fish uh, diseases click here and you'll probably rank top 10 for that now, I'm not guaranteeing it you know do it right do good stuff but that's how easy this could be um, now keep in mind also fish is just one market out there there's also many many other things when you have an internet that's so big you might have people looking to build go-karts, uh, make gas scooters. You might have people who want to build tree houses, people who want to learn how to get gum out of their VCR, people who want to learn how to clean their carpet to where the stains don't come back, people who want to learn how to save money on laminate flooring. There's so many different things here. People who want to learn to brew their own beer. There's so many markets out there that you could tackle, and they're ready and ready for you to go after them, and there's not a lot of competition and there's a ton left for all of us so that we could all get free traffic, paid traffic. Um, but again, if you're looking for a fast way to go, pay-per-click is, is good. If you're scared to do that, go organic. Sometimes it might take up to a month, two months, three months to get traffic. Um, but, you know, a lot of times you can get it fairly quick. So keep that in mind. Um, use the templates. There's templates in your kit that have a way it's a it's a generic site based on the word keyword so you could kind of you know use that as a gauge don't use it exact I mean you don't want to be a cookie cutter site um, back in 2002 to 2004 there was a bunch of programs out there that would provide cookie cutter sites that would change one word and the search engines weren't too happy because it just provided junky content um, so really think about what you write, take the time. I mean, seriously, the, 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 page, the pages on PCMoneyMaking.com, all those articles, it took me 10 or 15 minutes to write because I enjoy it. That's something I care about. I'm making a site about uh, magic tricks, something I enjoy, something I like, something I care about. If you like uh, fixing cars, you know, maybe you could write about that. If you like um, recipes, you could do that. I mean, there's a lot of people I found that type in prime rib recipes. They spell it wrong, just like I do, because I can't spell, but I like to cook. And that's a good market you could go for as well. So there's all these different things that you can go for that aren't even close to being tapped to the potential. And you can get free traffic, and you can get, you know... Um, paid traffic and press release traffic and all this stuff funneling to help you build a sales machine um, based on these things and it's not uncommon to see a site like the beta fish one make three to four sales in a day I mean there's people out there who, who make money off of dog training tips websites and and uh, money making tips websites and you know car racing tips all these things they're making money off of these little bitty niches and you know you can do the same thing uh, don't copy them do your own thing you know make it ethical be a good business person and you're gonna do good you just have to really focus what you're gonna go for focus your efforts focus your sites go for niches you know take a look at the keyword programs we have listed see which one works best for you uh, personally I have my personal favorite which is on there 
And you know, it works fantastic because it shows me right here at a glance all the competition for a certain word that I could get on free traffic, paid traffic, and things like that. And keep in mind also that um, there are some search engines out there that give you full disclosure of what the people are paying. You know, it'll show you number one's paying 10 cents, number two's paying 9 cents, number three's paying 8 cents. And it'll show you where you could go and you could just look at it at a glance and find niches really, really quick. And that's what you want to do is find little niches like the beta fish and find little niches like, you know, things things of that nature that's going to yield sales. There's, there's things like, uh, you know, heartburn and, and foot stinky feet or hurt feet or broken arms. I think uh, leg cast is looked up 900 times a day. Um, and there's all these different things that you can do and you just have to be deliberate. It's not difficult to get a search engine ranking. People already have them. You just have to really work at it and care about it. And again, the problem with this business is that a lot of people just want to get number one ranking for the word make money, um, and they don't think you know, about what they have to do to get that. So do these things, and uh, you should do really well.